welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet again another car on the channel last time you saw the fiesta st 180 if you've not saw that video it's in the top right hand corner right now just click there that car will later be getting its 240 bhp conversion now for today's video we've got a slightly different car again again the normal videos on the tt will come back weekly as they normally do but i'd like to mix it up a bit and get different cars on the channel so as you see today we've got the golf gti Mark 5. Imagine these rappers were tight mumble Rap was just a gag at the mic Back in the lab they were actually tight Counting stacks while getting a laugh at the hype And these pill poppin' rappers never dabble in vice Sober and clean, never so crack in the night Nice, got your rap top but get dragged in a fight The type who wants that but keep on grabbing the knife I'm just babbling facts, hope you handle the vice Don't four, And it's owned by my friend Liam Now, he drives this around on a day-to-day -day basis It is his daily Now to look at, you would say it is fairly standard I mean, there's a few little bits and bobs Which he has done And we will go through them but, but this is by far standard. This has been highly modified performance wise. And uh, we will take it out and you will get to, and hopefully you get to experience what I get to experience from driving it. Obviously it's not gonna be quite the same. Now, let me walk you through the modifications and um, we'll give you a brief overview of the car before we get in and drive it. So guys, to start off, I think he has changed the headlights to a Xenon headlights here. I think the grille has been changed as well. Um, I'm not sure if the bump has been changed. I think that's stock. We've put EBC front pads on it. The discs are all standard, pretty sure. Coming back to the rear, obviously it's D-wiper, the usual stuff, but it's have this, um, is it off the R32? Is it right? So this is not a standard um, exhaust. I think I have labelled this video as straight piped and I'm pretty sure it is straight piped if I'm wrong. Now if I am wrong Leon put in the comments below and tell me if I am wrong because I, I th I'm pretty sure it's straight piped and if it's not straight piped it sounds straight piped but we'll get to hear that in a minute. So this is the exhaust here. It is for me that ain't sitting straight and that would really piss me off. It's just a tiny bit off. I'm not gonna slag the car off, but it's just a tiny bit off. It's also lowered on H&R springs, the same springs that are actually on my TT. Well, they're probably a different part number, but I'm pretty sure it's the same sort of chassis, but the weights are different. Now let me open the bonnet and go, and uh, we'll go through the mods underneath the bonnet. I was almost straight the way you notice that it's just not looking standard at all now it has given me a list of modifications that it has done to this car but if i go through every single one of them this video will be about 25 minutes long so i'm not going to go through all of them i'm just going to go through the things which matter so the first thing you can obviously obviously clearly see which is not standard is this induction this induction kit which looks quite tasty and possibly will fit on the Audi TC which is a possibility put a thumbs up if you want to see that but I have noticed it's broken away from there now I didn't make this video to slag this car but I just seem to be finding little bits wrong with it as we go along and this has been remapped stage two so it's running about 300 bhp at the minute and you guys will probably know the sort of modifications you need to run a stage two uh, Golf Mark 5 but uh, I'm a little unsure I know um, the intercooler and the fuel pump has to be changed which has been done um, it's changed the coil pack and uh, got an induction kit and it's just a straight through uh, decap pipe um, and I think that's pretty much it that's needed for a stage 2 and then obviously the remap and I think that is it if I'm wrong put in the comments below um, I'm really sort of roughly going through this but obviously I will be um, modifying the Audi TT so I probably will be going through all of this stuff that Liam has gone through doing this. So we just get in it and drive it and I'm sure what you guys are dying to hear is the exhaust so let's start this thing up and you guys can hear the straight through pipe exhaust on a stage 2 remapped Golf Mark 5 GTI. This is the most anti-social car I've ever heard. Oh my god! 
shit. Okay, so guys, getting in. Um, first sort of impressions, it is, I mean, it is a 2004 car. It's not too dated. We've got heated seats, we've got everything like that. It's got some sort of problem with these lights and airbag, but we're not gonna worry about that because we're, uh, oh, the boot's open, let's go shut that. Let's get the GoPro set up and let's go for a drive. I'm gonna take this for a ride and we're gonna see my reaction. Now, I haven't actually floored this thing completely flat to the floor yet, um, but I have drove it here and it, it did surprise me how quick it was. 300 bhp in this little thing, it is gonna fly. Now, I'm sort of bracing myself, getting ready for this. Oh, it's no it is noisy. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is sneezing when you change gear. You can hear the induction kit breathing in the air. Ready to listen? Oh, it, it does sound very, very nice. I give him that. And it sounds like you can have a lot of fun in this thing. But the one thing I will say driving this and how loud it is and everything and how distinctive the car is. as the camera move? And how, did the, how distinctive the car is, I feel really bait. And by bait, I mean, I feel like at any moment, if I see a police, if I see the police, they will pull me just because it's a Golf GTI, I'm fairly young. It's making a lot of noises when I'm driving it. There's no front plate on the front of the car. It, it looks like I've bloody stole this thing probably. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. If you've got a Golf, Golf Mark 5 GTI in the comments and you get pulled over by the police, let me know in the comments because I feel like this is the sort of car that you just get pulled over in every five minutes. Right, we're going to take it on a dual carriageway now and we're going to give it some beans. Here we go, boys. it actually isn't much difference to when it was with the traction control light on it's not much difference at all so it's copable but I'm you're gonna go through tires in this car regardless Liam I'm not thrashing your car for the sake of it this is purely for the viewers entertainment a thumbs up if you like the absolute carnage this car causes just a tiny little pocket rocket it's a little bit of a sleeper car actually but the noise and the power this puts out is insane. So guys, that 
that will be sort of the end of the video. I'll try to keep this video as short as possible, just so I give the channel a bit of a taster of the Golf Mark V GTI. So if you guys have liked this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and make sure you click that subscribe button. If you guys didn't like the video, make sure you click that subscribe button anyway, because there'll be plenty more videos on other cars to come, especially the TT, which is still the ongoing project on here. If you guys want more of an insight and more of an in-depth look of what it takes to get that car to 200 bhp, put in the comments below and I'll film another video. I'm putting this footage out for you guys and for your entertainment, as well as my own entertainment also. So guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out. Imagine these rappers were tight mumble. Rap was just a gag at the mic. Back in the lab, they were actually tight. Counting stacks while getting a laugh at the hype. And these pale poppin' rappers never dabbin' and vikes. Sober and clean, never so crack in the night. Nice, got your rap tough, but get dragged in a fight. The type who won't stab, but keep on grabbing the knife. I'm just babbling facts, hope you handle advice.